Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs and today we're going to be talking about the RA2 Pro Plus from Xtool. This is their rotary attachment, that's the name of it. Um, it basically is going to allow you to do cups like this here. We're going to do this in the next video as an example. Um, but basically you get both of these boxes. We're going to do a real quick unboxing. We're going to do an overhead look at everything. I'm going to show you quickly how to assemble this in this video. The next video, we're gonna do an actual uh, laser engraving on this tumbler here. Um, but there's not very many videos out there that I, that I found that shows you how to put this together super fast. So we're gonna do that. So let's go ahead and get an overhead view and we'll jump into this. All right, you guys, so as you can see, we're gonna start by unboxing. I did remove the claw here and pre-assembled it. I'll show you that here in just a second. It's super easy. I know all of this looks intimidating, but uh, real quick, we're gonna start with this smaller box here. This has the claw inside it, but when you first open it, you're gonna see all these small parts and pieces. Uh, these are actually the secondary claw attachment. There's two attachments. There's this side, and it looks like this. It has like a little step up. And then there is the other side, which is the soft jaw. Um, and I have that assembled on this claw here. And then uh, you have the little uh, chuck for tightening, and then you have the extra piece for the actual uh, claw assembly here to make it spin and then underneath you have the um, actual claw will be here and the uh, the belt is in here and then you have this stabilizer tool right here which will stabilize the uh, the claw if you're doing like a ball or something and then you have um, the the tape measure don't lose this tape measure it's super important we're gonna get the boxes out of the way and uh, we'll leave all the parts right here Next up, we have the larger box here. As you can see, it comes with the uh, the little pamphlet here. I personally don't like this pamphlet. I wish they would just have a piece of paper with a QR code that tells you to go to a video like this and shows you how to assemble it. It's kind of a long process to decode all of this. It's in multiple different languages. So for example, if I can get to an actual example here, They'll have two of the same pictures on some pages and then you have to flip to the next page and it'll be the same thing, but in a different language. So you kind of got to go through and repeat steps. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I would recommend watching a video. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, right here is the actual RA2 Pro. Um, this is like the, ru the ruler in here that allows your cup to roll around. Um, it comes with two of these like hexagon screwdriver sets. These are super important, don't lose them. Comes with like a little level. And then you got this foam insert, we can get rid of that. And then you have the whole unit here itself. So you can pull that out here. And we're gonna show you how to assemble the claw here in just a second. This comes pretty much pre-assembled for the roller, so that's easy. Um, then you have the actual, the cord itself, don't lose that. And then you have two different bags here. One with screws for the, the jaw, and then one for like uh, rings and like uh, golf balls, etc. And then you have this little uh, stabilizer here. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing. So I know I kind of went r really fast in that. If you have to replay, replay. The goal of this video is to show you guys how to get up and running with this as fast as possible. So for right now, we're gonna put the stabilizer, um, this stabilizer and this stabilizer away. Um, basically, these just sit off to the side like this to stabilize your cup and it goes up and down. Um, that's pretty basic stuff. I don't think you guys need to see that. This one is if you have rings and the jaw on there, um, it'll stabilize like a golf ball and that's pretty much all this is for. So with all that out of the way, um, we'll also get rid of the cord. Uh, there are two cords, like I mentioned. There's this cord for like the M1. Um, and then there's another cord, I believe, with a four pin connector for their other uh, types of lasers. So make sure you have the right cord for your laser. Uh, next up, we have these two different packages. Um, this package uh, has two extra sets of screws and it has a ring set in there for your, um, your actual claw here. You can replace these uh, claws with uh, these things here and it'll engrave like rings or um, golf balls. I'll show you that here in just a second. And then lastly, this is the most important uh, package. You'll have these two longer screws and then these six smaller screws that's gonna to allow you to create your jaw. 
So uh, with those six screws, I just put them on the furthest setting so both screws fit in each claw. Super easy. That's how, how I would start it off when you're assembling. I just didn't want to waste your guys' time showing me put in six separate screws. So with that out of the way, um, let me go ahead and explain the basic roller set here. So the roller set is you're going to have a, a larger cup. You would want a perfectly round cup. This isn't a round cup, but you essentially would set it on there if it was perfectly round, so it'd be kind of like this, and then it would roll around. If you had a smaller object like a, like a wood dowel, you can actually move this over to either B or A, depending on how big your wooden dowel is. Um, to do that, super easy, you just um, remove this little screw right here on the back. This whole thing right here pops off, and then you move it into the next screw or the next one, and then you would move this entire roller will pop out of here, and then you would move it to either B or A, depending on which one you need. Hopefully that makes sense, but it's super easy. Just one screw, move this over and move this over, and then whenever you move it over, just make sure it is underneath this, um, this belt in here, just so it can roll still. But other than that, that is how you would use this. It's already pre-assembled. If you have something perfectly round, you're good to go, plug it in, get started. Um, I know all of this looks intimidating, but it really isn't once you actually have it explained to you. Um, now, the hard part would be is putting this onto here, like this, but um, this is really not that hard either. So to do that, you wanna pull off these two rollers first and these two things on the sides here. And to do that, once again, is just one screw on both of these. Just take that off, take this off, Pull both rollers out, um, and then all you need to do is go back to this bag here. You'll take these two long screws, set this right on top of these two holes here, and then screw these screws in. And I can show you that here in just a second, but I wanted to give you a as quick of a rundown as possible. And then once you have this on here, um, I'm going to go ahead and just let it use its own weight there. You would then take this little tiny piece from this set right here and you would use your belt, you would wrap it around here like this, once you have it attached, obviously I don't have it attached yet, and then you would wrap it around here like this, and it's gonna go right into this hole down here, and there is an actual um, small, two small little set screws in here. Once you have it in that hole, you're going to flip it over, and then you're going to um, set those set screws. I think I gotta loosen mine up, but once you set it in there, it'll look like this inside. You'll set those set screws tight, and then you will have it all assembled. Super easy, super quick. I know it looks intimidating with all these parts. Um, and then once again, these are a second set of claws here. So if you don't have like a soft cup like this, like a round cup, where it would fit on like this, um, you could use one that is like jagged if you have a flat item and then you can actually screw this on and then you can have it clamp in different segments or different steps. So that's all that this is. Um, so you would just keep that in the set. Make sure you don't lose any screws. I think they give you two extra screws in that other set here. Um, and then this chuck right here, this chuck right here is for setting it right here and tightening or loosening the jaw. Um, so once you have your cup in there where you want it, you would just either loosen it to get it in or tighten it to tighten it up. And that's all that that's for. So I think I explained it pretty well. Um, I'll go ahead and as assemble it here really quick in fast motion so you guys can see that. Um, before I do that though, let me show you those um, other things here for the rings. So just in case you don't want the jaw on there, you can take all six screws out. Um, and then you can put these rings right in here. You just kind of spin them into place and then it would create like a, a triangle of the ring holders. And you can expand that out on your ring or golf ball, whatever you need. If you then have like a golf ball or something in there, you can stabilize it with this stabilizer that I was talking about. Um, it'll just run on these two tracks in here. And uh, we'll show you that after it's assembled. So let's go ahead and fast forward, I'll assemble it. Just the way that I explained it here, I just wanted to get you guys running as fast as possible here. All right, you guys, one last thing before I undo the uh, the rotary tool here and show you unassembling it um, in fast forward motion. 
Um, I forgot to mention there are two set screws here. There's one here, and then if you spin this over, there's one on the other side. Um, so you'll see that during the uh, unassembly of this. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and fast forward this to show you guys exactly what I just talked about, and then we'll get this done. So there you guys have it. We have officially assembled this. You can actually uh, loosen up your chuck now and you can put in whatever cup you want. Um, as you can see, I had to take out those two little set screws for this tiny piece. This is a tight fit. So you wanna put the belt on first and then snap it into place here and then put those set screws back in. But now that we got our uh, chuck loosened up here, we need to loosen just a little bit more. There we go. You can tighten it up on the back or the front, whichever one's more convenient for whatever you're gonna do. I'm gonna put more towards the front here, so I'm gonna probably just hold it from the back. Um, you wanna make sure it's as flat as possible too when you go to do this, like make sure it's all the way against the back, kind of like this. And then you'll use this little um, chuck tool here, and then you'll tighten this up, make sure it's nice and tight, nice and snug. That way your cup ain't going anywhere and it'll laser engrave your cup. Now, if you have a cup with a, like a handle, like a mug, you can actually um, undo this here, and then you can take this entire plate off, and you can move it on this side here just by removing these two screws here. So these two screws can go into um, these two holes right here, and uh, that will offset it, and you can raise this up so your, your mug won't hit the bottom. So that's how you would do a mug, for example. But that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I showed you how to, uh, to uh, assemble it, use it, um, and then in the next video, we're gonna go from there. Real quick, before we close it off, I'll just show you this stabilizer one more time. You can actually slide those into these little holes here. There we go. And then you can hold whatever item you're gonna do there more securely and more straight. And then you can uh, plunge this down to make it tight um, and loosen it up and remove it here. So there's that. And then here is that other stabilizer we talked about. Just set that off to the side. If your cup's really long, you can raise it up and that'll just allow your cup to roll on it. Uh, obviously, you wanna make sure everything is level and then you wanna use this thing as well to make sure you have the right size risers in your machine, depending on what machine you're using. Other than that, I hope you guys found this helpful and the quickest video that you could find in order to assemble this and we'll catch you guys in the next one.